Good morning. I'm Peter Melios from the Finance News Network. Stocks rose on Friday, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 closing out their third winning weeks in a row, as a measure of inflation closely watched by the Federal Reserve came in at its lowest in nearly two years. The Dow jumped 0.5%, the S&P 500 added 0.99%, and the Nasdaq Composite gained 1.9%. All three major averages notched weekly gains, with the 30 stock average up by about 0.66%. On Thursday, the Dow ended a 13-day win streak, a length not seen since 1987. The S&P 500 advanced 1%, and the tech-heavy index is up 2%. To end the week, investors cheered data showing cooling inflation and stronger-than-expected earnings reports that supported the case that the US could avoid a recession. On Friday, June data for the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index continues to show easing inflation. The gauge showed core PCE gained 0.2% month over month, in line with the 0.2% increase expected by economists polled by Dow Jones. Core PCE rose 4.1% from a year ago period, lower than the anticipated 4.2%. The data is of particular interest after the central bank raised interest rates earlier last week in a widely anticipated move. The Fed targets inflation at 2% annually. Earnings season continued, with Dow member Procter & Gamble shares gaining nearly 3% after better than expected reports results. Intel jumped 6.6% 6 as investors applauded a return to profitability, while Roku climbed 31% a day after beating Wall Street expectations on both the top and bottom lines. On the other hand, Ford Motors shares fell 3.4%, even though the automaker beat estimates and raised guidance. The company said its electric vehicle adoption was taking longer than expected due to higher costs. Overall, all U.S. sectors closed higher except for utilities, which was the worst performer, and real estate. Communication services was the best performer. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% gain. Thank you for listening.